My name is Donnie, and you suck at Photoshop because you're an effing artard, and you make me sick. I just want to throw up. Today's lesson is about as basic as I can make it, but you're still going to fooge it up, stupid. And I picked as simple a composition as possible for you. We're going to do a still life, also known as no life. I'm going to go to bridge and. We're going to get some photos, and for a still life, just so you know, you get something that doesn't move, because that's what a still life is. And we're going to start with tomatoes. Two delicious ripe tomatoes. Round, plump tomatoes. And we don't have a shot of them together, because you've never actually seen them. And you're never going to get to see them out of their package together. So you're going to have to use Photoshop and your imagination to put them together. So I've started a document already, and I've removed the tomatoes from their backgrounds using paths. But you're, you, hey, you're the smart guy, and I'm sure you use the quick mask edit mode to paint them off of their backgrounds, or, or, or better yet, the magic wand tool that you used while you watch Teletubbies and and rub diaper cream on your. Fuzzy dropums. So hooray for the big boy. Whatever. We got these two tomatoes separated, and as you begin to put them together, you're going to notice one looks different than the other. But you only notice that now, not then, when you might have had a chance to see them unwrapped in the race day mobile fuel van. So how do we make them look like a pair? Well, basically, the hue. Or color for you is slightly different, and likewise we notice a variation in the tone. So, or for you, the light and dark stuff. So we're going to. Oh, oh, I know what you did. You went. You went for hue and saturation, right? Yeah, sure. And, and when you're done,、um, run the colored pencil filter, and render some clouds, and print it out, and give it to your babysitter, and then and go. Finish your lunchables. <sighs> Ass wipe. Now the grown-ups are going to use curves. So what we're going to do is we're going to. I, I created a channel, but、oh, but you don't know what that is. So let's just. I'm going to say a few things right now. They're going to sound really funny. They're going to sound like a different language. You just hold on, hold tight. Go grab your eraser tool or whatever you did to get the tomato. But I created a channel that separates the. Delicious, plump, t- touchy part of the tomato from the green part, and we're going to select that part of the layer, and we're going to go up to a, j-、uh, a layer, new adjustment layer, curves, and we're going to open up the curves, and this is going to look completely unfamiliar to you. You've never used curves before because it's hard. Basically, curves. Allows you to affect the tone and build contrast across multiple channels using anchor points on this curve line. So what we're going to do is first, first off, we know we need to we need to start bringing all the tones down a little bit. So in all of the RGB channels, we're going to come down here. The darker areas of your image are down here. The lighter areas of your image are up here. And we're going to put an anchor point down, and we're just going to we're going to pull down a little bit and darken up the whole image so that we. Start bring a little bit of tonal evenness, and then we're going to go to the red, and we're going to go in the midtones first, and we're going to pump the reds up a little bit. We could come down into the shadows and bring them up as well too. Just mess around with it until they start to look like the tasty, delicious tomatoes you know that they are. There's still a little bit of yellow, or in this channel, the green in here. So we're going to go up into the midtones and pull some of the greens back so that that red really pops. And we're going to say okay, and now you've got two delicious tomatoes that you're never going to touch. And you and you know what? You don't want anybody else to touch them. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put them in a in a jar. Oh, I'm not going to put what? Up. Oh, hey, hey, man. What?、Guys. No, look, I don't have time、uh, for this. If we get a talk, just what? I mean, now. Just get. Oh, what? You, what? What's so important? Just, What's so important? You're out of the guild, man. And we all decided. You're just. You're too surly for the horde, man. 
You need to go towards the light. You know, go find your gold, man. Just, just not here in the game with us. Donnie, 